Some may ask why is the ANC only now cutting ties with former President Jacob Zuma? Well, since Zuma was forced to resign in 2018 under a cloud of corruption allegations and President Cyril Ramaphosa took office, there has been two camps within the ANC, one backing Zuma and the other Ramaphosa, which has led to a political power struggle for more than six years. In December, Zuma said at a press conference that he would be voting for a newly formed party called Umkonto Wesizwe because he didn't believe in Ramaphosa's leadership. Zuma has encouraged his supporters not to vote for the ANC, which has become a problem for the ruling party, as the former president still holds tremendous sway around the country, especially in Kozul Natal province, where we saw deadly rioting and looting set off by his imprisonment in 21. ANC Secretary General Fikilin Balula emphasized that the suspension is to protect the integrity of the ruling party. The ANC also says it's not fearful of losing votes after Zuma's suspension. In fact, the breakaway from Zuma's corruption-riddled past might just be what the ANC is hoping for in order to lure more voters, as President Cyril Ramaphosa has vowed to clean up the ANC. Ramaphosa is seeking a decisive victory in this year's national elections, which promise to be the most highly contested in the country's democratic history. Julie Scherer, CGTN, Cape Town.